Hi everyone, welcome back to Educating Dan. Hope you're well, and today I am going through the post-production of ornithographies. These are images that are created from videos that capture the movement of birds. So essentially putting multiple frames into one image. We do that in Photoshop, so let's get to it. Because this is a video file, we need to go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. And choose the video that you want to import. And then choose the amount of frames that you want to import. Now in this particular video, I think it's about two thirds of the way through that the bird started flying. I don't really want to capture anything before that. Should be about here. That frame there, no birds flying. And then I want to come back to roughly when any of the birds that were in the frame to start with, when all of them have flown off the, off the image. So we're coming back, let's have a look. Right, so if we come all the way back here, and I think I'm gonna pick this bird and see if I can capture when that, it's somewhere around here. I'm gonna go with perhaps this one there, or maybe there. I'm fairly happy with that. And then we click OK. Uh, this will produce a large document and possibly take a long time. Click continue. Um, the, the first image that I created with this video was 240-ish frames. So I may have gone with a lot more. Let's find out. Yeah, so it's 315. And what we'll do now is show you the blend mode um, to be able to create the the main part of the image. There is a little bit of Photoshop that is required in this particular image, which is a bit of an added bonus uh, for any times you've got a bird that is not moving that you, or moves a very small amount, and you just want to keep that one crisp. So let's go to select, select all layers, layer, show all layers, and we move this to, in this particular image, we're choosing darken. Um, because the bird is darker than the background, you want to bring through the pixels that are darker, um, or essentially, actually, the ones that are darkest. So here, you can see all of the bird wing movement, um, rather than the waves behind, or the, the, the water behind that is a lighter colour because it's, it's reflecting the sun. You can see that if you had a dark background and a white bird, you would choose lighten. Um, but when you choose lighten, you get something like that, which clearly is not what we're going for. So we click darken. Now that we've got the main part of the image, what we really need to do is this duck in the middle we need to choose what pose we want for that duck. Because as you can see, the duck has moved very, very slightly, um, which basically smudged it out. And I don't want that in this image. What I want is to actually, I'm gonna remove these ducks, I'm gonna remove the ones at the bottom here, and this duck, just leave it really crisp. So what we're gonna do is go to layer, hide all the layers, and let's have a look midway through. That's not bad. Um, let's see if there's one that's even more crisp. There we go. Layer 196. I'm going to call that duck. And what we're going to do with this layer, we're going to Smart select. Let's bring that a bit, a little bit larger. This duck. Let's select all of that part. All the way across, select all of the wood here as well. We are going to remove some of this later. Zoom in on the duck. Make sure we get that beak. If 
we go over a little bit, it's not too much of an issue. Again, we're going to remove some of that in, uh, in a while. Do you know what? I'm actually going to, because that wood potentially is going to change in the uh, selection. Um, I want to make sure that it's consistent, the wood and these poles. Just want to make sure that's all consistent with each other. Fantastic, right, we've got what we need selected, plus a bit more, we don't need any of this. We're going to copy that, we're going to paste it, then select that layer, go to layer, range, bring to front. So that, when we now select everything else, if we go layer, sorry, select, all layers, layer, we need to hide the layers that are hidden and then show them all. Right, we now get an image that's a bit like this. What we then need to do is this layer here, you can see the blend mode is normal and we want to keep it that way because what we're going to do is we're just going to erase some of these bits. So if we get the eraser tool, select here, Water here to be quite full, obviously. We want the water to be the same colour. We need to delete that out. Doing this fairly quick. Um, let's come across. Do here, actually. We do have some birds that flew in between, so actually, we do need to show that motion. Okay, that looks good. So now we've got an image that's a bit like this. What we're going to do is we're going to layer, select all layers. I'm going to flatten the image. So it's just one image because now I'm just gonna come in clone stamp out the bits that we don't want. And there you have it, an ornithography in a matter of minutes. I hope you've enjoyed that, I hope it's been helpful and as always, keep learning.